So we are definitely a really creative community at OCAT. So that's something that I really appreciated when I was a student. Um, Art and Design University is not like your traditional university experience that you see in American movies, because uh, all the fun stuff happens in the studios, uh, probably like all the fun stuff that happens here. You know, you're collaborating with your classmates, you're making a mess, you're learning about new materials from one another, or new software, uh, or your faculty's there working with you. So for me, it was really rewarding to suddenly be in an atmosphere where everyone was passionate about making things and using their art and design work to make you know design clever things or make political statements or change the world it was really inspiring in that way um, and I think at the same time it's important to also realize that art and design university is still a rigorous academic atmosphere you still have to take liberal arts and sciences um, and humanities and history and sociology and philosophy courses, but the nice thing at a specialized art and design school is that all of those courses are themed because we know all of our students at our school are creative. So they're meant to support what you're doing in the studio, the creative work that you're making. Uh, and it's so that at the end, we have produced well-rounded graduates. Yes, we want you to be an excellent painter or designer or whatever you studied, but we also want you to know how to write about your work and talk about your work and run your own business and place your work in a historical context. Um, so it's still, you know, very active academic as, as much as it is is also fun don't worry um, and it, I think it's you know there's a lot of opportunities these days in the creative sector that you may not